see, how many of you know that once you let sin pass, you know, it may be real difficult to swallow the first time, but which each bite, it gets easier and easier. Yeah. Till next thing you know, you don't even notice it anymore. Yeah. You know, and then you, you're going around, you know, like, uh, like, like many other hypocrites uh, talking about, you know, everybody else doing it. <laughs> Why you just want to single me out? <laughs> you know, because you're wrong. <laughs> that's why. Amen. You know, and when I see the next one that's wrong, I'm singling them out too. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I don't respect a person. If you're wrong, you're wrong. Right. Simple as that. And that's love. That's right. You know, that's love. Mm -hmm. That's love for Yahushua, and it's love for your brother or sister. You know, please, if you see me out of line, out of the will of Elohim, let me know. That's right. Let me know. And then you'll know what kind of brother you're dealing with, too. Right. Because if you do see, see one that's out of the will of Elohim, and you bring it to their attention, and they don't repent and get back in his will, then it tells you something about that brother and sister. Amen? That's what Apostle Paul was talking about. Now, it's imperative that we remember Luke 4.4 4, where Yahushua says, It is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of Elohim. Yeah. See, and this is where so many people get it twisted. So many people get it twisted right here, see, because they just want to live by bread alone. That is, they just want to live by the sayings that Yahushua said while he was on the earth. See, they don't understand that that was Yahushua giving Moshe all the commands back in, in the uh, Torah as well. Because Yahushua told him at no time have any man seen the Father or heard him. And we know Moshe seen someone, the backside of someone, amen? amen. And we know that all of Israel heard someone, amen? amen. <laughs> and if Yahushua said it wasn't the Father, you know, crucify him! That's why, that's why they wanted to kill him, you know? Uh, but you're not to live by bread alone, but by every word of Elohim. Yahu. 15, 16. Thy words were found and I did eat them. And thy word was unto me the joy and rejoicing of my heart. Hallelujah. For I am called by thy name, Yahuwah Elohim Zavaot. Thank you, Yahweh. Ezekiel 3, 3. And he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly to eat and fill thy bowels with this robe or scroll that I, will, that I give thee. Then did I eat it and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. Hallelujah. Revelation 10 9. I went unto the angel and said unto him, Give me the little book. Yes. And he said unto me, Take it and eat it up. <laughs> and it shall make thy belly bitter, but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. Hallelujah. And the word of Elohim is sweet as honey. It gets bitter in the stomach because that's when you have to digest it. That's when you actually have to do it. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you know? <laughs> for it to be of any benefit to you. You know how many of you know and you can eat all day and if you're not digesting it, then it's just you know you can have all the nutrients in the world and you know eating all the nutrient rich food in the world. But if your body can't digest it, then you just got some nutrient rich poop. That's it. You know. You have to digest what goes in in order for it to be a benefit to you. And the digestion process is not, especially of the word, it's not as pleasant as when you ate it. Amen. You know, Amen. receiving it is one thing, doing it is another. Yes. Unleavened bread is a spiritual, in a spiritual sense, is the sincere true word of Elohim. Mm -hmm. It's the sincere true word of Elohim, his teachings and instructions minus the hypocrisy. Mm 
minus the malice, minus the wickedness, and minus the doctrines of men. Hallelujah. See, that's why we don't do a traditional Seder. Because that's a tradition of men. You know, we do what the scripture tells us to do. This is our motivation to have a scriptural reason for everything we say and do. Amen? Amen. We're told to eat unleavened bread for seven days, not to just be in possession of it, but to eat it. <laughs> that means we have to put it in our mouth. We have to digest it. The unleavened bread is the word or instructions of Elohim, to do the will of Elohim. That is, his teachings and instructions. Again, minus the hypocrisy, malice, wickedness, and doctrines of men. The word or teachings and instructions of Elohim are depicted as food to teach the disciples that we are to live by them, just as we live by the literal food we eat. You cannot go on in this life forever without eating. Yeah. You have to get some food in your body in order to preserve life. Same thing with our spiritual man. You have to get some food in that spiritual body in order to sustain life. That spiritual food is the word of Elohim. That spiritual man digests it and make, make use of it when you do it. This is what we want to take from this. Yoke 9, 4, verses 31 through 34. My next reader, please. In the, in the meanwhile, his disciples prayed him, saying, Master, eat. But he said unto them, I have meat to eat that ye know not of. Therefore said the disciples one to another, Hath any man brought him out to eat? Yahushua said unto them, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me, and to finish his work. Absolutely. And we are to walk in the steps of Yahushua. Our food is to do the will of him that sent us. And to finish his work. Amen? Amen. So, 1 Corinthians 5, 8. Therefore, let us keep the feast not with old leaven, neither with the leaven of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Exodus 12, 15. Seven days shall ye eat unleavened bread. Even the first day you shall put away leaven out of your houses. For whosoever eateth leavened bread from the first day until the seventh day, that soul shall be cut off from Israel. Now, what I have next is the same verse, Exodus 12, 15, with the spiritual understanding inserted right into the verse. So we can see how it reads now. Until one, oh, minus that one, until the earthly and heavenly, until one is earthly and heavenly complete, one is to live righteously and with sincerity and truth. Even the first day, you shall put away hypocrisy, malice, wickedness, and doctrines of men out of your houses. For whosoever eat of hypocrisy, malice, wickedness, and doctrines of men, with the teachings and instructions of Elohim from the first day until the seventh day, that soul shall be cut off from Israel. Now, it says that in the first day, you should put away the leaven out of your houses. So, when is the first day? The first day is the day after you acknowledge the life-saving power of the Passover lamb, enter into covenant with him, apply his blood, that is, to your doorpost, accepting him as your Adonai, Messiah, King, through true repentance, baptism, conversion, and begin to testify him to, of him to others. Begin to take on his responsibilities as your own even as he takes on our responsibilities as his own. Acts 2, 36-39. My next reader, please. Therefore, let all the house of Israel know assuredly that Elohim hath made the same Yeshua whom he have crucified, both Adonai and Messiah. Now when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Yeshua Messiah for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Ruach HaKadosh. 
For the promise is unto you and to your children and to all that are afar off, even as many as Yeshua or Elohim shall call. Okay, hold on there for a second. So we see, first thing, you know, we need to be pricked in our hearts. We need to recognize where we fall short and, and become sorrowful for our shortcomings against Elohim. And have some compunction and, and decide to be baptized in the name of Yahushua our Messiah that we may receive remission of sins. And then Acts 3, 19-21. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of Yahuwah. And ye shall send Yeshua Messiah, which before us was preached unto you, whom the heaven must receive unto the time of restoration, restitution of all things, which Elohim had spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. Okay, now we've been taught that we must be converted. That is, turn and go the other way from sin. Acts 26, 15 through 20. And I said, Who art thou, Adonai? And he said, I am the sure whom thou persecuted. But rise and stand upon thy feet, for I have appeared unto thee for the purpose to make thee a minister and a witness, both of these things which thou hast seen, and, and of those things in which I will appear unto thee, delivering thee from the people and from the Gentiles, unto whom, whom now I send thee, to open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light, and from the power of Satan unto Elohim that they may receive forgiveness of sin and inheritance among them which are sanctified, sanctified by faith that is in me. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Whereupon, O King Agrippa, I was not disobedient until the heavenly vision, but shewed first unto them of Damascus and at Jerusalem, and thereout all the coasts of Judea, and then to the Gentiles, that they should repent and turn to Elohim and do and do works meant for repentance. And they and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of the testimony, and they loved not their lives unto the death. All right. You know, Yah wants us all to be a minister and a witness of him. You know, a minister serve to serve him and a witness to testify of him. And he wants us all to repent and turn to Elohim and to do the works meet for repentance, not just say you repent. Even as we've seen some of the Pharisees coming out to be baptized by Yochanan, and he asked them to bring works meet for repentance. You say you're sorry, then, you know, act like it, you know. Not just in word, but in deed. And those of us that do, will overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimonies. You know, and this is this is the way that Yah has put before us. You know, this is the way He wants us to walk. He wants us to enter into covenant with Him. He wants us to partake of the Passover Lamb. He wants us to eat unleavened bread for seven days. That is, from the time that we enter into covenant unto him until the time of his day of rest, his thousand-year millennium reign. So as long as that thousand-year millennium reign hasn't came, then we should still be eating unleavened bread. Yeah. Amen? Amen. 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 All right, that's all I have for you today. Pray it was a blessing unto you.